Hi, I'm Linnea from Return of the Living Dead, Night of the Demons, Silent Night, Deadly Night. I could go on and on. But the main thing is you're watching Slasher Pepper. And you better keep watching. I'll get my chainsaw and cut you in two. Enjoy. <laughs> hey guys, Slasher Pepper, and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be interviewing Linnea Quigley from movies such as Return of the Living Dead, Night of the Demons, Graduation Day, Sign of Night, Deadly Night, and a ton of other stuff. How are you doing? I'm doing great. What time is it there in Holland? Over it's 7, 4 p.m. Oh my gosh. So tell <laughs> me the future. Tell me the future. <laughs> so far it's pretty good. A little rainy. I'm not sure if it's going to be rainy over there, but uh, I guess you'll ah. find out soon. Yes, I will. I will. Awesome. So um, do you have any new projects coming up in the future? Yes, I do. I've got to look. Hold on. I've got Psycho Babes and the Frightening Film Fiasco, which we're going to do in August. Then there is Jasper, which is like a serial killer type film that's based on fact. Uh, I just did in New Zealand Buzz Cut, which is horror comedy. It's, it's going to be fun. And then one coming out this year, too, really soon is The Good Things Devils Do. And hopefully the last Thanksgiving. I'm hitting those, you know, Christmas movies and, you know, Thanksgiving. Next it'll be Easter. I don't know. Awesome. Kind of throwing back to earlier in your career with Silent Night, Deadly Night, I see. Exactly. <laughs> yes. Yes. Awesome. But there's no deer in this. No deer were harmed in the making of the film. <laughs> right. <laughs> Um, so can we expect an updated version of your audio autobiography, um, Ice Cream As Fast As I Can? Yes, we're doing a really good book right now. Um, in fact, I just stopped the last part of it and now it's going to be just like filling in the blanks. So it won't be too long, but you know how books go. Right. Oh, and also I've got to mention, I've got a reality show, um, on dragon flicks f-l-i-x it's spelled dot biz and it's okay. on youtube and all that too oh that's awesome yeah and um now to get back to like your earlier career uh what was it like working alongside linda blair on savage streets oh it was great i was just talking to her um like two days ago or one day ago and it was, I was so intimidated by her at first, but then she's like the nicest person and we both rescue animals and, you know, have this heart for them. So we get along even better now than then because I felt like I was kind of an outcast. I was the, the deaf girl, you know, uh, mute and they were the cool girls. So I kind of felt out of sync with them. Right, right. I see. That's really cool. Um, so what was it? Um, do you have any fond memories from the Silent Night, Deadly Night set? <laughs> Not a lot of fond memories from that <laughs> set, but uh, hanging on antlers was kind of painful. I'm trying to think. Oh, one of my memories is that one of the girls wouldn't do a topless scene. And my scene, of course, had to be topless because of the antlers and because they wanted some nudity, I guess, in it. And the girl got a diamond necklace, a little diamond, you know, necklace. I heard about it and I thought, oh, if I do this scene, I'll get one too. But yeah, I didn't get one. So I was like kind of disappointed. <laughs> That's cool. And um, how did you feel about the negative response to the Sign of Night, Deadly Night film upon its release? Well, I was in Mexico and my manager at the time let me know that there was like this big uproar and I couldn't understand that because, you know, we were working on a film and when you work on a film, it's hard to see it like other people see it. So I thought, I don't understand why there's a big uproar about this. It's just a, a slasher film. It's, you know, no more than, you know, Freddy or, uh, Fight of the 13th, so I couldn't understand it, but it, it's funny actually now. Right, yeah, I and agree on that one. it made the movie very popular, right? 
Exactly. Maybe I wouldn't have seen yeah. it if, uh, if it weren't for those uh, protests. <laughs> exactly. Um, and what was one of the most fun scenes to film in Return of the Living Dead? Oh, boy. The most fun scene was probably the dance, I guess, because I got to do whatever I wanted to do. It wasn't scripted or choreographed choreographed or anything I just got to do what I wanted and that made it a lot easier for me than right you know having to you know stick to a certain you know script and words and everything it was just fun to just you know dance just go all out <laughs> yeah exactly um and what's the best behind the scenes story from the night of the demons set Oh, wow. Behind the scenes. Well, probably, I guess. Oh, okay. When I went in at first to get my life cast done of my breasts, I, you know, went in there and I've done your life cast before and all that. And Steve Johnson, I thought was really cute. The effects guy. And so I went in there and they said, okay, you're going to have to take your top off to do the breasts. And I, you know, I did. And I, I said, do I have to take off my, my tights? Because I didn't want them to get wrecked, you know, from all that stuff. And so they, amongst themselves, amongst the boys, they were like, oh my gosh, she's loose. She wants to take off her pants. And, <laughs> you know, she took off her top and I'm like, I had to take off my top and I didn't want to wreck my tights, you know? Right. But they thought I was being, you know, slutty or something. Right. Which was not the case. I was just trying to be professional. Oh, I see. And not <laughs> act like it was a big deal, you know? Yeah. Um, between Trash or Susan, who would you uh, choose? Trash. And why? I like her guts. I like, I like the way she, like, goes for things and... I love the punk rock era, so I, 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 I'm not really a pink dress girl, you know, frilly dress, so I would go more for the punk rock. Right. Yeah, me so too. I'm, all, I'm all about that stuff. <laughs> Yay! I'm um, so glad. And the music is so good, um, like, in return. I love it. Oh, yeah, for sure. For sure. Um, what are some of your own favorite horror movies? Uh, probably Hollywood Chainsaw Hooker. Oh, wait, not Hollywood, Texas. I'm getting it mixed up. Texas Chainsaw Massacre and Jaws. Because I consider that a horror film. Uh, in fact, on the reality show, Donna Wilkes, who was in Jaws 2, is in it. And she played Angel. Do you remember that film? So she's um, going to be in the reality show. Oh, that's awesome. So that's neat. But those, and when a stranger calls, because it's, you know, that urban legend you hear about that the guys upstairs calling that would scare us kids when we were really little. Exactly. So those yeah. are my three favorite films. And I like the Nightmare on Elm Streets. Oh, yeah, those are fantastic. Um, and the older films, the older films like Murder in the Rue Morgue, uh, Wax Museum, the really old ones with Vincent Price. I love those. So like the classics and all. Yes. Awesome. Uh, what makes you smile? Dogs, animals. <laughs> yeah, that makes me smile. I can't not smile. It's like a hundred times better than any kid for me. It's like, I'm just like, a dog i'm like you know it's just like and lemonade really tart lemonade those two things what would you say is your favorite uh dog type oh i like the great dane no not great danes the um uh dobermans roddy's australian shepherds those are my favorite three is that just because oh of <laughs> Is that Hold because? On. All right. Let me just. Uh, sorry about this. Nobody ever calls, and then they call during this, right? Right. <laughs> okay. I sent her a message. So it's awesome. Cool. Okay. Um, it's about a dog too. So. Just <laughs> so you know. 
Uh, is that because is there a reason that those are your favorites or just because they're awesome? I've rescued a lot of them and they're just really awesome dogs. And I, I love, you know, of course, mixed dogs. I've got, because I have a rescue and sanctuary, I have 14 dogs and two cats here. Right. And I do it alone. It, I can't wait until I can hire somebody because it's a lot of work, a lot of work. Right. But uh, it's worth it. Exactly. Definitely. Definitely. I got to go with the uh, Bernese Mountain Dog. Those are my oh. Uh, favorites. Oh, my God. I forgot about them. How could I forget about them? I've never worked with one. Oh, but, I see. Yeah. You know, or had one. So I don't know. In fact, I just had a Doberman that I fell in love with. And that was my first real one on one with the Doberman. Right. And you know, I love the Burmese Mountain Dogs because they're chill, they're beautiful, they're just cool dogs. For sure, for sure. Um, Do you have are, one? No, no, no. My uncle had two of them, well, actually three of them, uh, and I kind of grew up with those uh, dogs. So uh, oh. I hope to have one for myself one day. Yes. Yes, you will then. Also, yeah, sure. do you know Skipper Keys? Skipper Keys are neat dogs too. I'm They're not... a Belgian barge dog. Skipper Key. It's S K I. Wait. Oh, S -K -I. right. <laughs> They're little black dogs and they have a. They're really fierce. They will. They're guards, I tell you. Right, right. They look They're so small dogs. and cute, you know, but then. then... Oh, yeah. They're the loudest yeah. barkers, probably. <laughs> well, they don't bark like chihuahuas. And I, I oh. just had a rescue chihuahua two days ago with a bad pause. But uh, I think the number one dog that bites is pit bulls, then chihuahuas. <laughs> Those two bite. And it's a like a little different type of bite, but... <laughs> Still will bite regardless, right? Yes, yes, which I've had many. Uh, what are some of your own real life fears? Real life what? Fears. What's that? Oh, fears! I thought you said fears, and I'm like, oh. what's a fear? <laughs> no, you 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 don't really have an accent. It's amazing. I thought you were from you were a American in Holland. Um, my fears are mice, rats. And real people, <laughs> I, you know, it's like I don't get scared anymore at the horror films, but real people really scare me. The the a serial killer, stalker, or something like that is just so scary. Right. Well, it's the simplest concept, you know. They come up with all yes. these these costumes and stuff, but all it takes sometimes is just a regular human being. Exactly. Exactly. And they always say that the guy that goes and chops up people or, you know, has got like a graveyard in his backyard is the nicest person, you know, they, they're very quiet and, you know, they're helpful and nice and they're psychopaths. It's scary. <laughs> right. They might be living next to you. <laughs> mm hmm So, um, the is one they don't expect. Right. <laughs> Is there anything you would like to add to the interview? Oh, let me see. Oh, I'm doing a documentary called Extras. So anybody in foreign countries that wants to self-tape to add to it, uh, it would be great. You know, go to my original Facebook page or official, I can't remember. Official, official, I think. <laughs> and um, I can't remember what it is. Let me see if I wrote it down. Um, let's see. Oh my God. Which one is it? It's official or original? No, official. I keep going back and forth. Right. <laughs> but go there and I have, um, a GoFundMe for the Moulin Rouge. I have a thing about extras. I have, uh, the thing about the reality show. I do cameo and I read tarot cards on there and that's mainly about it. And I just want to meet everybody. I want to come to Holland. 
I heard awesome. it's beautiful. Yeah, 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 definitely. We do have some guns there, but not really like horror oriented, you know. They mostly have like oh, really? Game of Thrones and that sort of stuff uh, in terms of actors. I've uh, never seen Game of Thrones and it's like, I'm like a, a it's good. I haven't seen it either. <laughs> oh, good. I'm so glad because when I was in England, I loved Penny Dreadful. I loved that show. The old one, not the new one. Right. I haven't seen the new one, but everybody was like, oh no, the Game of Thrones. We've never seen Penny Dreadful. And everybody's talking about Game of Thrones. And I don't know. I, I've just never had a desire to watch it. Right. Me, me neither, really. All, the only shows I've seen are, are Tales from the Crypt, um, mm -hmm. Dexter and Breaking Bad. Those are all. Yes. Those are great. Uh, yeah, Those for are sure. great shows. For sure. But I don't want to see somebody running around saying my maiden or whatever they say, <laughs> you know, you know, it, I don't know. It's like, it's like going to a Ren fair, a Renny, Renny Fest. Do they have the Renny? Oh, right. Yeah. Ren Fest there. <laughs> oh my God. They're just so weird. Exactly. I, I, I agree on that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So um, everybody like, I'm not gonna go to one anymore. <laughs> People are making fun of me. You did go to one. I went to one about two years ago, and it was my first one. I didn't know what to expect, but you know, everybody. There's a lot of big breasts there. I tell you, that's for sure. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> the women are like, woo, with them. Is there anything else uh, you would like to add? Uh. See. Oh, I'm vegan. If anybody wonders, <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's why you love dogs and animals so much. Why do I make you exactly. smile? Exactly. It's it's kind of like hard for me to hear people say I love animals. I just love them so much, and then say they're going to eat them. It's kind of a a weird thing for me. But yeah, yeah I but respect everybody. I don't like tell people, oh, don't eat that meat. You know, maybe I'll look at them weird, but I don't, you know, <laughs> uh, don't bash them or anything. Right. Don't make them hate themselves for it. No, no, no. Because then they'll probably do it more like a kid. Exactly. Right. Right. Just as a friend. Oh, you don't like me eating meat? Watch me. <laughs> exactly. And then they'll call me a kook and, you know, I'm already the crazy dog lady here. So it's like, <laughs> you know, no, I'd I was rather here be like. I was here three days when I moved and I went to a gas station and I live pretty much out of nowhere. And this guy said, Oh, are you the, he didn't say crazy. He said the dog lady. <laughs> and I'm like, how did he know that? He, I think he wanted to say crazy though. Right. Just the way he said it. The way he said it. He just left that part out. Right. But I'm the dog lady for sure. I mean, I think it's better to be the dog lady than the average lady around the corner, right? Yeah, yeah. The sterile lady that everything's clean and neat <laughs> and they have nothing in their house and you can't step on the floor. Yes. Right, exactly. <laughs> so um, anything else? That's about it, I think. Definitely, for me as well. So. Um, oh, okay. Thank you guys so much for watching and uh, I'll see you guys next time. See ya. Yay. That was great. You're pissing me off, Roger. It's gonna be wild tonight.